with uh, Battalion Chief Dan Brask. He is going to be uh, accompanying sweating. me. I guess I'm going to be accompanying him sweating <laughs> this afternoon. So, all right, show me what you got here. Uh, so, so, as Battalion Chiefs in Escambia County, we're, we're pretty hands-on. So we carry equipment that probably normally a lot of their battalion chiefs and other departments don't carry. Okay. Um, and that's basically the tradition of what we do here. At, you know, so each department has its own uh, traditions and, and uh, conventions and kind of the customs. We're very hands-on, and we're actually our job description is very hands-on as well. So sometimes it's up to us what equipment we're going to carry, um, but we'll carry. As opposed to just being a manager, that's why you're in the union, all that kind of Correct. stuff. Yeah. Okay. So. So we share uh, similar job duties to what the company officer that rides on, on primary apparatus like out of this station does. Which is uh, missing right now. The uh, engine is here, the hazardous materials truck is here, which uh, we're at station six on US 29, serves du dual duty as a hazmat response. Correct. All right. So, so you'll see I have an SCBA or self-contained breathing apparatus just like the personnel carry on, on their apparatus. Okay. Uh, I have bunker gear, which is structural firefighting gear, just like they carry. Um, as well, and then I, I do also operate as the mailman. And so, um, but I'll pick up uh, one of my primary job duties to, to complete throughout the day. Uh, besides dealing with the roster staffing issues and obviously responding to incidents, is making sure the personnel are properly equipped for the day. Okay. So if something breaks or if something they use something from the night before. So you're the logistics and supply guy. Right. So if it's medical gloves or or you know controlled drugs or things of that nature, I'll get that stuff out to them. Um, so I can restock them. Sometimes we're able to do that on scene by themselves, but other times it's not conducive to the operation, and I'll take care of that. So th this particular particular piece of apparatus is, is is sized up for me. So I I built all this stuff. It basically comes naked with a tray. Okay. Pull out tray, and then the county provided me with the plywood, and then I built all this stuff. So um, so that's all my kind of setup. That's not exactly what like everybody, everybody has. Else's. Yeah. So, okay. Um, but so we so we we carry a whole plethora of equipment, you know, to to uh, jump packs, these are extra um, forcible entry tools. This is actually a, uh, a rapid intervention team pack. This is if a downed firefighter. So this is an extra SCPA bottle in there, along with a mask, and it's directly hooked up to the okay. bottle. So it doesn't have the backpack, but it's essentially the same function. So if a downed firefighter- It's just designed SCPA, for rescue, not ordinary correct. firefighting. Correct, yeah. So if a, if a firefighter goes down, uh, their SCBA malfunctions, so they run out of air in a structure, this is designated to go with the team that's going to go help or extricate them, and they utilize this to, to back up their SCBA that they have. Battery so. chargers for communications, I assume? Or? Yeah, so, so this is actually a whole bunch of chargers that go some of the equipment that I have, and I actually have an inverter here. Uh, and I have a hole that I've added in there to actually <laughs> to then charge here so you don't have stuff sitting here. So okay, I've, all I've right. Fabricated, yeah, fabricated out of the way a little bit. To, uh, to, to make it more functional. So that's what firefighters generally are. We have to have stuff that's readily accessible. Is that a accessible. cone? Is that what that is? Yeah, they're collapsible cones. So when you're getting debris out of the roadway, yeah. fixing or, a tire. So, so I respond to the interstate. If there's an accident on the interstate, I go because of how dangerous the interstate is. Yeah, are. yeah. Uh, there is a there is an organization called the Road Rangers, which is uh -huh. operated through the state of Florida through the insurance companies, but they only operate under certain time periods. And so they're not available 24-7. Also, they're delayed to get there because they're not emergency response fields and can't get to their sure. path. So I'll go help keep traffic off the cruise, so slow down traffic far away from the incident so as or traffic can slow down before they get there. And so I'll use those at night or whatever. So, All right. Uh, so this is the battalion chief vehicle? Yes, yeah, so this is... This is uh, uh, this is Battalion 9, that's my call sign when I'm off duty. When I'm on duty, it's Battalion 3. Because you're the chief over District 3? Over Battalion. Battalion 3, three. got it. This is uh, other firemen's lockers, I assume, and gear. So, so this particular station is assigned four personnel per watch. Okay. Um, but uh, so you have 12 personnel here total as far as a lieutenant on each watch plus three firefighters. Okay. Now, due to us being so low on staffing, we're down. A watch is they go 24 off too? Is that? 24 on, 48 hours off. Okay, yeah. yeah that's the cycle. Of work. So there's three crews plus the... You said there's a lieutenant and three firefighters for each crew? That's the composition of the crew. Okay. Correct, is a lieutenant and three firefighters. And then how many battalion chiefs are there? One per one per battalion. So, okay. So it's, so basically... Oh, so you don't work every day. You're, I mean, you're working... One... I work the same cycle as what the okay. firefighters and lieutenants do. 
So 24 on 40. So who's who's the battalion chief when you're off, or is there not one? No, there is. So so there's still three. So one per watch. We have to oh, see, okay. see watch. Got it. Yeah. Okay. So the logistics is uh, no, all yeah, new to me. 100% so. <laughs> Um, so, because of staffing uh, shortages, you know, we're down a total of 11 positions, plus they've been upstaffing Principal of Beach. And so, uh, we're down a considerable amount of personnel. So, And would, today, a, would a normal, like, at full staffing complement be a lieutenant and four? No, three firefighters. Just three, so, a lieutenant plus three would be the yeah, four so total. Yeah, our minimum staffing is three personnel. So, that's the lieutenant and then the two firefighters. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah, and some of our firehouses in the county, unfortunately, only have that complement of staffing each day or each watch. Yeah. Um, but but there's a good good amount of stations that are staffed with four when they're able to. But because of shortages, we don't have that every every day like we'd like to. So. Um, Very good. I know that's one thing they're working on, but that's the one thing we have to have is, is an increase in the fire MSBU to cover those shortages because we we can't sustain what we have right now. So.